Hey guys, Jake from the Australian Reptile Park here and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about uh, the world's most toxic snake species and that's the one I've got here. It's known as the Inland Taipan. Now there's a few different species of Taipan found throughout Australia. Uh, this one is found in an incredibly remote part of the country. They're found in southwestern Queensland and also into South Australia, um, particularly in areas um, where there's a habitat, habitat type known as black soil. This species lives down in the soil cracks where they will primarily be feeding on rodents. Taipans are rodent specialists. Now you can see that snake right now flicking the tongue in and out. And this is exactly what that snake would be doing out in the wild down in that labyrinth of tunnels and burrows beneath the ground. They're looking for rodents. And when they bite that rodent, they're going to kill it incredibly quickly. That is a big part of the reason why these snakes are so toxic. They need to kill their prey incredibly quickly or it may get away or it may even injure the snake itself. The rodents that this species would be feeding on are quite large. They have large teeth, large claws and they can certainly do a fair bit of damage if the snake were to be bitten or scratched by the rodent. So they have that incredibly toxic venom in order to subdue that prey item very, very quickly. Now, despite being widely referred to as the world's most venomous snake, this species has never caused a single human fatality. There is not a single death on record from the inland taipan, and that a main reason for that would be where they are found, an incredibly remote part of the country and a snake that not many people encounter. Another really interesting thing about this species is they'll undergo what we call a seasonal color shift. During summer, when it's very, very hot where they occur, they're quite a light yellow colour, um, a bit like this snake's belly just there, you can see that underneath. And during winter, they need to absorb heat more readily, so they become a much darker colour and that will enable them to bask, absorb the heat that they need to, and then they'll head back underground and that is where they spend most of their life. They're only emerging to the surface and basking for very short periods of time. So whilst the Inland Taipan is referred to as the world's most venomous snake, in reality they are quite an inoffensive species, particularly when left alone. This is a snake that most people will never encounter. As I mentioned, they live in a very remote part of the country. So whilst their other common name, uh, the fear snake, is sometimes used, that more so refers to their venom toxicity and the area that they occur. It's a very fierce landscape. But the snakes themselves are typically quite relaxed, particularly in a captive environment. And that's about it from me, guys, with the Inland Taipan. You've learned a little bit about one of Australia's most beautiful and most spectacular snake species. Make sure to stay tuned on Instagram, Facebook for more videos like this so you can learn more about our incredible animals. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.